Um, and this is the angel hug for Friday, Saturday and Sunday, the 15th, 16th and 17th of November. And I'm starting off with the lovely daily messages cards. And we're working on this ascension theme this week. So for Friday, it says time to go. So Friday is definitely <laughs> that day that a lot of astrologers have said it's time now. The Mercury retrograde is over. It's officially moving forward very, very powerfully. So it's time to go. It's time to go forward with our plans and connecting this with the ascension vibration. I would say, OK, the time for assessing, the time for evaluating, the time for releasing and letting go is over now. It's time to move forward and make use of these energies and currents that the cosmos is is now bringing also to support this new determination. So anything that you've decided to work on, to commit to, Friday is gonna be the time to say, yep, it's time to make that change. It's time to do it, it's time to go for it. For some people, this will mean it's time to make a decision about where you work or how you work. And so I would say, don't be rash, but trust yourself, trust your instincts about when the time comes to make that change. And for some, it will be time to move somewhere else, to live somewhere else. For some, it will just be time to just get, revel your engines and decide that now is the time to go forward. And the card says, the sun sets and rises each day and it's the same with avenues in your life, with the avenues in your life. See the beauty within each sunset in your life and know that the sun will also rise again tomorrow. Endings are merely the start of a new beginning and we are with you through each phase and cycle. So the angels are really just reaffirming that things end sometimes and whenever something ends, something else begins, something else that's more perfect, more wonderful, or that at the very least is an evolution. So connecting that to ascension, it's really important on Friday to remember that whatever you have to let go of in order to become the truer version of who you are, in order to move forward towards that purity and truth that that we're all seeking at the moment, whatever it is that you let go of, it really is for the best if you really have that deep sense of knowing within your heart that this is the next phase, that this is an evolution, that this is moving you forward. And doesn't everything move us forward really? Everything teaches us something, everything allows us to evolve in some way or not, whether you might make uh, look back and uh, decide that it was a mistake. It's very, very rare that we do actually make mistakes. What often happens is that we discover that that was absolutely the right thing to do at that time. So fall into the synchronicities, fall into the sequence of, well, being able to look back five years from now and say, oh, if I hadn't done that, this wouldn't have happened and this wouldn't have happened and this wouldn't have happened. It's time to redirect our course. It's time to step on a new, onto a new timeline. It's time to step into a new range of possibilities. So for Saturday, I'm going to pick a card from my lovely deck, which I've been ignoring a little bit this week, and it says Invitation. This is the Guardian Angels deck from Tony Carmine Salerno, and the, it's, the card says, We, your Guardian Angels, ask you to invite us into your heart. Talk to us at any time. Share with us your fears and concerns. So I'm going to connect that to this idea of needing to move forward, needing to make a big change. If there are some people who are now on the precipice of making a big change or even making a small change that just seems like a big change because it's a little bit uncomfortable, because it's been a long time since you tried this thing or because it just seems, uh, you know, you're out of practice, anything new, anything that you know you're ready to launch yourself into and the cosmos is supporting you in launching yourself into this weekend, ask for help, ask for encouragement from the angels, ask them to be with you, to hold you through this and to see the truth of it, which is that you can, you can do no wrong in a sense. You will learn something from everything. Trust and ask them to show you that really there isn't anything that you need to do except go forward now because we can only learn from trying new things whether those things turn out to be not quite the right thing or not we're going to learn and we're going to grow so there is no need to be formal for we have known you before the dawn of time in fact we know you better than you know yourself and we love you just as you are really really important to know that we are loved just as we are isn't it because what that means is it doesn't really matter if we 
get it wrong. We're not really getting it wrong. And the love is always there no matter what. The love is there to support us in making changes and the love is there when we think we mess them up. Okay, so I'm gonna pick a card again for the, from the Ascended Masters deck for Sunday. And it says, you are seeing this situation accurately. So again, that's another card that says that we need to trust ourselves, that we need to know that there is a whole mixture, a whole range of things going on at the moment, a whole range of possibilities and truths. And so it doesn't necessarily mean that there's only one thing that's true. It means that if you're feeling conflicted, it's possibly because you are seeing all of the truths that exist in this situation. Trust that you do know how to see things accurately. Trust your inner vision, trust your heart, trust your intuition. You are seeing things accurately. So when it comes around to Sunday, when Sunday comes around and we've been really moving forward and moving into our new intentions and trusting and inviting the, the angels to, to help us to get over our fears and any stumbling blocks and to keep moving forward. When we get to Sunday, if there are any doubts about this at all, it's important to know that we are seeing the situation clearly. We know our uh, limitations we do know our own possibilities we do know what makes us happy we know what makes our hearts sing we know what's not likely to work out and we know what's for our highest good so Sunday is going to be a day to trust that and to to not play around with it too much to trust the tried and true within ourselves to take leaps to take risks to move forward and to trust our sense of what we know about who we are and what we can make work. And I'm going to choose one more card because I'm being guided towards the Angel Therapy deck. And so for Sunday, I'm going to give us a second card and I'm asking, what is it that we need to see more clearly? In what area are we not seeing? And I've got solar plexus chakra. So very, very important to be aware of any control issues going on around us, okay? Sunday is gonna be a very important day to evaluate, to do a good energy clearing, and if there are any doubts in your mind about anything, just become very powerfully aware that sometimes we are being, not controlled, but if we allow ourselves to be, we can be influenced by the energies around us, by the thoughts of other people and their issues, agendas, whatever. And it's just a day to say, okay, if you know that that's happening, trust that you're seeing the truth of it, connect with your solar plexus, empower yourself. There's no need to judge anyone. You know, people do silly things. They, they think silly things. They have ideas, they have agendas. We're not perfect, we are moving towards perfection. But these things can only affect us to the degree that we allow them to. So Sunday, I would add to that, take back your power. This is a very powerful card for taking back your power, deciding what it is you really, really want and then just moving away from that which seems to be trying to pull you in another direction and realizing that you are the person who decides ultimately it is down to you and sometimes it can be an excuse it can be a way of looking for a way out to say well this person seems to want me to do this and i'm being influenced and affected find out by going deep inside what it is you want and empower yourself with that desire. And the card says, it's safe for you to be powerful and take charge of your life in positive ways. That's it for Sunday, everyone, and that's it for the weekend. Have a great weekend, and I'll be back on Monday.